Hi there, this is James Swanick, and you're listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast, where you learn how to take back control over alcohol and live a life of health, wealth, love, and happiness. What happens in the first seven to 10 days after you quit drinking? Hi there, I'm James Swanick from the Alcohol Freedom Formula. There's some free resources for you down below. Click on those to get started so you can quit drinking. So some of the 20,000 people who I've helped quit drinking tell me that in the first seven to 10 days, their sleep is a little bit disrupted. Um, They're a little bit more irritable than usual. Um, Their skin starts to feel just a little bit funny, like flaky, dry, etc. These are all perfectly normal. When you first quit drinking, your body is going through a shock of sorts. It's been so used to you feeding it toxins and poison for many years that when you now deprive it of that very toxin and that very poison, then your body is reacting to that. It's basically craving the poison and craving the toxin, okay? So it's perfectly normal in the first seven to 10 days to feel just a little bit irritable, but stay the course because on the other side of that is clarity, focus, energy, amazing sleep, wonderful relationships, improved energy. Now, people often say, well, why would I even put myself through that? Why do I even want to go seven to 10 days of not drinking and disrupt my sleep and be a little bit more irritable and have funny skin and like, why would I do that? Well, kind of look at it this way. It's short-term pain for long-term gain. And is it really more pain than what you've been causing yourself over the years anyway, which is fogginess, uh, lack of motivation, putting on weight, feeling lethargic, being irritable, uh, low energy, fighting with your husband or wife, not being a great role model for your kids, not building your business, not getting a promotion at work, not producing. That kind of pain has been with you for many, many years, and it will continue to be with you for many, many years if you continue to drink. So if you can put up with seven to 10 days of minor inconvenience, of feeling just a little bit funny as the toxins and the alcohol and the poison of alcohol leaves your body, then it's amazing on the other side, beautiful on the other side. Tens of thousands of people now have used my formula for quitting drinking and keep saying all the time, I've lost weight, I saved my marriage, I created that business, I took that trip, I saved so much money, oh my goodness, I'm making so much money now that I have the clarity and the focus and the energy. There are people, famous people throughout history who have chosen to go on alcohol free. Abraham Lincoln, the movie star Bradley Cooper, President Donald Trump, love him or hate him, he gets a lot of things done in his life, good or bad, hasn't had a touch of of alcohol in his entire life. His brother actually died of alcoholism and that was enough for him not never to touch a drink. Jennifer Lopez, the singer, actress, doesn't drink. Tyra Banks. All of these people have chosen to go alcohol free and as a result of that, their life has exploded. So if you can put up with those first seven to 10 days, and by the way, it may only be two or three days. It might even be nothing. You may not even feel any disruption. You might just feel beautiful the very next day that you wake up. But if you can put up with those seven to 10 days of a little irritability, not sleeping great, tossing and turning, getting used to the fact that you're no longer putting alcohol in your system, then the other side is everything that you want. Go from a six out of 10 to a nine out of 10. Go from like feeling okay to feeling amazing. And even if you don't believe you're gonna feel amazing, at the very least, feel the way that nature always intended you to feel. Because nature did not intend you to drink alcohol. Nature didn't intend you to drink poison. Nature didn't intend you to pour these toxins down your body every single day. Nature intended you to feel the way that you're supposed to feel. So if you want a glimpse of that, put up with the seven to 10 days of irritability and poor sleep, because on the other side, it's amazing. There's some resources down below to help you get started. Click on those. I will show you my alcohol freedom formula. Join me, I haven't drunk since 2010. I'm telling you, it's beautiful on this side. Comment down below, let me know 
what results you got when you quit drinking. Let me know how you felt before when you've quit drinking. Let me know what your biggest fear is around drinking. I'd love to hear from you. I reply to every comment. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for listening. I have some free stuff for you. If you go to jameswanick.com forward slash guide, I will send you my formula for reducing or quitting alcohol. If you'd like to watch the video versions of these episodes, then you can watch them at my YouTube channel, which is at James Swanick. If you'd like to send me a direct message on Instagram, you can do so at James Swanick. If you would like to try a three-day challenge, a free three-day challenge, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash three-day challenge. If you would like to try the 30-day no alcohol challenge, you can go to 30-day no alcohol challenge. If you would like to schedule a 15-minute exploratory call with one of my coaches to see how we may be able to help you in your alcohol-free journey, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash schedule. And my request is, if indeed you enjoyed this episode or you have enjoyed the podcast, would you please go ahead and rate the show in iTunes and would you please write a review? A review might just be a sentence saying, great, listen, hey, this was fantastic. Oh, I really enjoyed this. Whenever you give a rating, whenever you write a review, it surges our podcast up in the rankings, enabling more people to see it and hear it and potentially inspiring someone out there to reduce or quit alcohol and potentially transform their life. So yes, while it does help me to get ratings and to get reviews, you will actually be directly contributing to helping someone's life by having them discover this podcast. So if you are open to inspiring others and to helping me in the process, would you please go ahead and give this episode a ranking and would you please write a review? Thank you so much for listening and I will catch you on the next one.